Hey everyone, it's been about one month since we've gone to the beaver culvert and look at this. The beavers have obviously clogged the culvert again and this is more water than before. Look at it all. Today we're going to drain this entire flooded area. You can even see the ribbons up here. We're going to drain this fast. Last time I tried to use a rake, tried to use an axe, they're not very helpful. I can rip this apart in like 20 minutes with my hands. Just got to gear up a bit. We were here before, we've drained this flooded street twice before and the beavers are just going to keep doing it until they're relocated or during hunting season somebody's going to come here and try to eat them. This is by far the worst flow we've had here since. And there's two 8 foot diameter culverts. We're only going to open one of them up because like I said it's pointless. They are just going to block them again. They blocked it in a matter of three hours last time we did it, but it took probably a week to get it back up and get the pond full enough to go across the road. Right here's the one we're going to open up. These are old gas station tanks. They're not tanker cars for a train because we found that out inside. All right, just talked to two forest rangers, explain to them what I do, break down the beaver dam, and film myself in the process. And I talked to him about, I told him about three weeks ago how we put a trail camera in here. And they're all right with it. Here they come around again. And they said their solution to this, they said it's been going on since May. We discovered it about six weeks ago. And in those six weeks we unclogged it six weeks ago and we unclogged it three weeks ago and here we are again to unclog it probably won't be able to do it again after this because they said their solution to it is they are going to trap the beavers and they are going to relocate them beaver hunting is allowed here but they're guys so it doesn't take out their road they are going to trap them and relocate them they're two very nice guys and they have no problem with me filming them or breaking down the dam to get some footage of the beavers look at this you can even see the culvert here those things are real strong gas station tanks really strong really cool yeah this is a very rural spot the two park rangers blocked the road for like at least 10 minutes while they talked to me very nice people <clears throat> all right let's get to work Always makes me feel good knowing the rangers are on my side. Because those are the guys who would arrest you if they caught you doing something bad to the environment. But this has to be done because you see it's damaging the road. This road is not a dam. It's putting pressure on this entire road. Like I showed over there and probably again I'll show today. There's leakage coming through this hill. It'll eventually fail if it stays like this. And look how soft the ground is here where they just drove through it. All right, let's get to work. It's good to know the beavers won't be hurt during this. All right, everyone, we're all set. Getting down into the water. So the rangers said this has been a big problem since the spring, and they gotta get rid of these beavers before the winter. Oh, I just flooded my boot. Okay, in here, we're gonna get a time lapse of opening up. We're not gonna bother with any shots on that end. This is a much better shot right here. And there's also going to be a time-lapse camera going on the flooded street at the same time. Alrighty, everyone, let's go. Look at this, the beavers use pretty big rocks. Just getting some flow to begin with, so I can have power to get the debris out of here slowly. Ooh, it's right in the face.
awesome. Look at it go. That is so powerful right now. I will come back in about 
30 minutes. I have to give the pond some time to drop because this is a little bit too much current. I'm gonna let it drop a little bit, but not just the current because I'm deteriorating right here where there isn't much current. There, it would definitely take me away. Here, I feel pretty good. But the thing is, this is exhausting work. I need a few minutes. I gotta get a drink. That's it. But we got a lot of current going. This will drop back slightly in like 15 minutes and I'll get back to work. All right, this is 16 minutes. Probably 75% of the flow is reduced and it will completely be reduced from what I just dismantled. But I gotta do some more afterwards. I hear a lot of Jake breaking, but I don't think that guy's coming down this road. Just take a look over here. I found this fascinating. We're now getting into the fall season. Technically still summer here, but up here the leaves change in mid-September and drop. Take a look at the leaves. Do you see that? Look at it. Look at all the current I just created in this swamp. And also, a lot of these trees are dropping their leaves prematurely because they're flooded. They're weak. They're dying. That's why all these leaves are getting pulled over. Hey, that'll be kind of cool. We'll have a lot of leaves going through the culvert in a few minutes when I get back to work. Oh, there's a big clump back there coming. I gotta get something to drink. Yeah, let's find something to drink. Ooh, I have some pepperoni stick. Got some milk. Love this drink. This I'm gonna drink this whole thing, then get back to work. On this side of the road is everything that we've pulled out. This time and last time. See it all stuck there? That's last time. This is this time. And look, all the other times we've done it and the logging company's done it. This water will stop flowing like this in like an hour. Just gotta drain that swamp. So this will be the last time we have to maintain these culverts. Unless the beavers come back. Oh, you heard that? Pong. Those rocks are loud because Right now, it's digging itself apart without my attention because if you saw the beginning of the video, not much was happening as far as flow. I was undermining the bottom of the dam so when I got the big current, it would start ripping itself apart because I removed a lot of the sticks and I left behind most of the mud and leave construction stuff. So now it's able to rip itself apart. And right here, they're kind of faded, but in my last video, you could see exca excavator tracks. They were, they drive their machine down here, most likely a bucket load to reach in there. They'll do it in a few seconds. They haven't done it since. They're just letting it go across. The ranger who talked to me said there's somebody with a job title of a trapper. They'll come out here and trap them and probably relocate them unless the trapper wants to eat them, I guess. Okay, so all those leaves that I saw flowing. Look, there's a few coming over here, but if you look over here, most of the flow I was pointing out is getting stuck in the bushes. Okay, this pond, we've dropped back probably six inches so far. We're gonna drop it back about four feet. I gotta get back to work while we have a whole bunch of current to do. Today is about 55 degrees for the high. Last time we did it, it was like 97. So it's much more pleasant to be doing it in this work today. Last time I could see in my video, I didn't even realize at the time, my face was bright red. And this time I don't think that's happening as badly. I can already notice a small reduction. Let's get back to work.
calendar this time. Not coming apart as easy.
Okay, you saw how I just dropped that beaver dam? That's why I was digging on the edges, compromising it, and it just went. You can also probably see now why I will never buy waders that go up to my chest. These are almost knocking me down. That's a death sentence if you wear those things. Never will do it. We're gonna drop this down another half a foot, and then that's it. Just like I said last time, you do not drop it down all the way because it could dig underneath the pipe because the riverbed is not used to it anymore and that would cause the road to fail. So this was pretty good today. Next time I do this, I'm going to start wearing earplugs. Right now, the violent water noise is gone, but yeah, I'm going to start wearing earplugs on these jobs. Because today I... One wrong move, I could have been easily swept away. Why I know where to step doing this. Oh, wow, so there's a dragonfly right here landing on my green shirt. I'm gonna readjust the camera because you can't really see the top of it anymore. We're gonna break this down just a little bit more. What we did last time. There's no, not as much current as before. Before it was going down really violently. Doing a pretty good job. We already dropped two feet around the reservoir. You still hear the rocks going boom, 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 boom. Wow, it's a big difference around here. Awesome. This made the park rangers pretty happy. But it probably won't happen again. Well, I have no idea when the trappers are coming out. It might be back in a few weeks. Because the guys aren't doing it immediately because they're hoping if they keep breaking it, me breaking it too, that the beavers will give up. Because supposedly, eventually they will. But I think for them to give up, you'd have to be here every day doing it. Because after a few weeks, like I'm, I did this three weeks ago, I'm pretty sure the beavers forgot about that. You gotta keep reminding them day after day. And I can't do this day after day. This is an eight hour trip for me. It takes 16 hours round trip to do this, and I usually sleep overnight here. It costs money to get into this place to do this stuff. Use the logging roads for recreation. Got to pay a toll to do that. And the gasoline to get here is like 300 bucks. It takes a lot to do this big unclogging right here. And other expenses. Everything combined, probably like 500 bucks to do this. So you see why I can't do it every single day. It's an eight hour journey for me, and four hours of that is on dirt roads. But I love what I do, and I will keep doing it, as long as I can afford to do so. Love doing this stuff. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna get going a little bit more, then we'll get back to the road, and I'll show you around the swamp that's slowly draining.
There we go. We got it down. It's actually raining out a little bit. Yay. Okay, we actually got it even more than last time. Check it out. We still left a lip underneath here. You want the riverbed to go in smoothly so it doesn't go underneath. This is continuing to drop. This will go to like half of what you're seeing now. Check out the swamp. Drained back to where it's supposed to be. We dropped it back maybe even a foot more than last time. Take a look at what it looked like before. They'll get this with the excavator as soon as they're done with trapping the beavers. Pretty cool, let's get a little look around the swamp. This dam was so much harder to pull apart than the one last time for some reason. This one had so many more rocks incorporated into it. They were like twisted the branches. You saw as they're pulling it apart, they were like, whew, like whips. This was definitely built different. I think they ran out of bulky wood, so they used smaller pieces of wood. I did a ton of them, so that's why they snap. They're not big sticks. And also, you just gotta not brush against them. I didn't get any cuts from doing this. There were so many pricker bushes that they incorporated into the dam. There was a little fly larva, which are big worms in there. And this time, we didn't see them last time, there was probably hundreds of leeches in the dam. But the water's going so fast, none of them stuck to me. That's why, if you noticed, I kept looking at my hands. Just to make sure. It's not bad to get a leech on you, but they give you a blood thinner, and you're gonna bleed for a few days, and I don't wanna deal with that. Leeches is pretty much harmless, but they give you a blood thinner, which is also harmless, but it's a pain and messy. Check it out. These are called northern blood suckers. See the leech right here? It's called a northern blood sucker. They were all inside of the dam. Maybe even looking for hibernation. This is a pretty big one too, look at it. Oh, come on, leech. Wanna move around and stretch out for us? This one was moving around a ton before, that's a leech. That thing can probably stretch out to be about this big. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. You gonna show us your body? Nope. But there's a ton of them. Most of them washed away, but there's still a few around. Let's see, where are they? Maybe they, these ones probably receded back into the water. But there was hundreds of baby ones, just tiny little ones. I didn't see any giant ones. But those things can get to a good 8, 10 inches. I've seen them in beaver ponds before. But these are just little babies. If they don't eat blood, they can eat other things. They'll feed off frogs, worms, all kinds of things. I don't see any right here at the moment. Got these ones right here. 
Maybe they'll start moving with a big splash. They're kind of dormant right now. Probably shocked because they were probably starting to hibernate. They're probably sleeping inside the dam. That's why they're not too active. But while we wait for this to drain back completely, we're gonna go look around their swamp a little bit while it's drained. The park rangers said they're not sure where the lodge is because usually they would destroy the lodge during the season when there wouldn't be babies. They don't want to hurt the beavers, they just want to encourage them to leave. And if they would destroy the lodge, it's a good chance they would leave. See, we drain this back. There is supposed to be water around these little islands here. That'll be back tonight when the beavers put it back. Dropped it back a little more than usual, just to make sure they have some trouble putting it back. Because what I did there, I removed the foundation too. Last time I didn't take the foundation out, so they had all the building blocks they needed. Let's look around here. You can see that's why these trees are changing colors early and losing leaves, because they're drowning. That's why the park rangers want to get rid of these. Oh, there's a big pool right here. Pretty deep pool. You can see all the water here draining back. Once all this drains back to the culvert, it'll stop flowing as much. This is where I showed all those leaves earlier getting stuck up. This is all draining water. Making our way over to where it was crossing the road. Because you see, why is this canal right here? Because it was going this way and across the road. Now that the culvert's unclogged, this little stream has started flowing in reverse. Now you see, under normal circumstances by the evidence here, these trees would be growing out of little islands. There's supposed to be a little bit of water here to support the, wet, the wetland grass. But just like last time, that beaver dam is gonna be back probably in a couple days. The whole thing went up before in a few days. Oh, look, see that? Look at the fish. See the fish jumping? <clears throat> Ooh, check it out. The, look what the beavers are even doing here. See that? That's beaver marks. They're about to cut these trees down for more material. And this is a beaver dam right here. See all this debris here? The beavers noticed it crossing the street, like that little stream I just showed you that went in reverse. Before I did this, it was flowing right here across the street, and the beavers noticed that. They don't like water escaping from their pond. They don't like the sound of water. So now they're building a dam here. If this was, un if this was left unchecked for years, you have a giant beaver dam right next to the road going all the way down the street. But only thing is, the beaver dam is really strong, but the road isn't. Water would start seeping through the road because it's not meant to be a dam and it would take it out from beneath and the entire thing would fail all at once. And a blast that big could take out even another road downstream. Downstream from this is a, is a pond. So suddenly putting all this water in the pond as it is now is like nothing. It might up the level an inch or two, but if it was this whole thing, a big beaver dam going all the way down the street, it may take out the dam at that pond because it's a man-made pond further downstream. We're not going to give out the exact location of this because someone else will come here and try to attempt it for themselves and get hurt on it. As you could see, I could easily get slipped, uh, swept away in that thing. And if the dam was taken apart incorrectly, because I had to undermine it just enough so it wouldn't fail, so I could start getting it from the other end. You saw how it all went at once. If I did it too much, the dam would have collapsed over onto me. All right, look at this crystal clear water. This will dry up because now that this isn't here, the water table's dropping, so this will soak into the ground over the next few hours. Yep, you can see the swamp is dropped back. A little bit beyond normal, but the beavers will put it back. Within a few hours last time, the dam was back a foot tall within three hours. Their workers will be out here immediately. Still sprinkling a little bit. You can see a little bit of silt being released. That's from the stream working in reverse now because it's not used to this. Flow is almost back to about normal. We'll get some footage of that. It'll be back completely within 30 minutes or so.
and this murky water will clear up within an hour or so. I gotta say, I do feel bad for the beavers when this happens, but they're gonna take out the road eventually. This water is now starting to clear up, and you can see down here, before the pond was built, the nice river bed is starting to come back. This, what's this random chain? Anyways, this has this is something that has to be done, and if I didn't do it specifically, they would just come in here with an excavator and do it anyways. Check it out. It's dropped back, but knowing beavers, it'll be back up here in about three days or so. Yes, it will. And you never know. Next time I do check on it, chances are it will be flooded again because the logging company, they said, put a work order in in May when they discovered it. They were hoping it would go away, but it's been a while since May, so the chances of them doing it now, actually, I would say are pretty good because this is going to cause a ton of damage if this is left like this in the winter because when the water table's this high, rocks that are inside the road can be lifted up with frost heave. It'll just destroy the road. There can be cracks where it starts lifting and smash tires. You can go off it the other way like a ramp. It causes a lot of damage when a waterlogged road like this goes through the winter. A lot of damage. So they're probably going to put some traps up. Should I ask what they bait them with? I don't know. Because the guy thought I was a, some kind of beaver hunter at first. Anyways, let's take one more look at the water. I've changed into new clothes. Let's get down here, get a quick look. Water's not going to drop back anymore. You see I left a nice little buffer on the bottom so the river can't dig underneath the pipe. A lot of guys with excavators, they'll take a big scoop there. I've seen it up here a ton of times with the logging company. And undermines the entire culvert. These are beautiful gas station culverts. They're not trained car culverts. There's no hatches in here. This is an underground or possibly even above ground diesel tank. It's one or the other. It's not a train car. Really nice pipe. The water's actually it feels pretty nice. It's refresh, refreshing. Okay, that one leech that I was messing with has receded back into the water. The other one's still up there on the wall. You see, it's gone back to a nice, calm trickle. Like it's supposed to be. You can see even the mark from the dam. See, it started up here. This is an 8-foot diameter culvert. It's nearly a 5-foot tall beaver dam. And we knocked it back to maybe 8 inches still in the bottom of the culvert. Beavers are strong animals. They incorporated a ton of rocks into it that they carried over here. Beavers are actually a pretty weak on land. The last time here I put a trail camera up and got some footage of a beaver like struggling to move a branch. They're strong in the water because they can float stuff, they can roll stuff with the buoyancy of the water. And that's how they get a lot of their material over here. This dam was thicker, harder to pull apart, it contained pricker bushes of just a, it took twice as long at least. Probably three times as long the actual job. Alrighty. And it's even almost completely stopped flowing out of the swamp. It's possible there's a little stream here entering too, so it may never stop. But anyways, I hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.